Hey everybody, welcome back to Shut In with the Psalms. Uh, Psalm 35 that we look at tonight is a little bit longer than most of them, so just a few thoughts up front. Uh, as you live a life together with Christ, living your Christian faith, we all know there's a few things that you can expect. Uh, you can expect that it'll be a life of service, just as Christ came and served us. Uh, it's to be a life of love, even love for your enemies, just as Jesus loved us and laid down his life for us. It's going to be a life of struggling against our temptations because we know God has called us to live a, a higher life, not just preoccupied with the things of this world. And in Psalm 35, David points out something else that will often be part of that Christian life. It means being hated. That's what David writes about in this psalm. He talks about people who were close to him, people that he loved and was kind to, who turned around and betrayed him and showed him nothing but hatred for no good reason. It calls to mind the same truth that Jesus was talking about when he said that if the world hated him, it'll hate his disciples too, simply because we follow him. Uh, there are some striking verses and truths in this word that might, in this psalm, that might ring true for you. Uh, as David talks about that sense of being betrayed, he reminds us that it hurts. It simply does. If, if you've shown love to someone, if you've reached out with compassion and guidance and, and care for them and they turn around and betray you, it hurts. And he reminds us that it makes us feel alone. But you're not alone. You're not. You're not alone. David promises. God has promised that God is with you. David knew what that was like. And Jesus knew what that was like. And he's with you. You can pray the words of Psalm 35 and you can rejoice in God's promise that he's with you. Maybe one other thought before we leave the psalm behind. I know that sometimes it seems like things are changing and maybe changing quickly in America when it comes to the Christian faith. Uh, that maybe things will be different in 15 years or for the next generation. But, but right now at least, Christianity does not face violent, organized, governmental persecution. There are other people that do. As you read the words of this psalm tonight, uh, I pray that you find comfort in the promise that when people betray you, when they attack you, simply because you're living your faith for no good cause at all, uh, I pray that's a comfort to you. But I pray too that, that it leads you to pray for Christians around the world who are persecuted in a way that God has spared us from. God grant that, that the promises he makes in, to us in this psalm are ones that he shows them to and, and uses to sustain their faith. The words of God in Psalm 35 of David. Contend, O Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and buckler, arise and come to my aid. Brandish spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. May those who seek my life be disgraced and put to shame. May those who plot my ruin turn back in dismay. May they be like chaff before the wind with the angel of the Lord driving them away. May their path be dark and slippery with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. Since they hid their net for me without cause and without cause dug a pit for me, May ruin overtake them by surprise. May the net they hid entangle them. May they fall into the pit to their ruin. Then my soul will rejoice in the Lord and delight in his salvation. My whole being will exclaim, Who is like you, O Lord? You rescue the poor from those too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who rob them. Ruthless witnesses come forward. They question me on things I know nothing about. They repay me evil for good and leave my soul forlorn. Yet when they were ill, I put on sackcloth and humbled myself with fasting. When my prayers returned to me unanswered, I went about mourning, as though for my friend or brother. I bowed my head in grief as though weeping for my mother. But when I stumbled, they gathered in glee. Attackers gathered against me when I was unaware. They slandered me without ceasing. Like the ungodly, they maliciously mocked. They gnashed their teeth at me. O oh Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue my life from their ravages, my precious life from these lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. Among throngs of people, I will praise you. Let not those gloat over me who are my enemies without cause. 
Let not those who hate me without reason maliciously wink the eye. They do not speak peaceably, but devise false accusations against those who live quietly in the land. They gape at me and say, Aha! Aha! With our own eyes we have seen it. O Lord, you have seen this. Be not silent. Do not be far from me, O Lord. Awake and rise to my defense. Contend for me, my God and Lord. Vindicate me in your righteousness, O Lord my God. Do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them think, aha, just what we wanted, or, or say we have swallowed him up. May all who gloat over my distress be put to shame and confusion. May all who exalt themselves over me be clothed with shame and disgrace. May those who delight in my vindication shout for joy and gladness. May they always say, the Lord be exalted who delights in the well-being of his servant. My tongue will speak of your righteousness and of your praises all day long. God's promises. Let's close with prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the protection that you give to your church uh, here in the, the country that we're blessed to live in. Uh, we ask your blessing on those, uh, those watching tonight who feel hurt and betrayed or those who are facing hardship simply because of the Christian faith they, li they live. Uh, grant your deliverance come to them and quickly. And we ask, O Lord, especially uh, your hand of mercy on our brothers and sisters in faith whom we have not yet met, who are living and holding on to their faith in countries where persecution is so rampant, where their faith brings loss of income, loss of safety, even loss of life. Protect them, preserve them, and at the right time, deliver them from this world to that heavenly home that we all await. Amen. That's it for tonight. Uh, God bless your evening. Looking forward to seeing you again soon.